What's up guys, it's Geo back again with some Dying Light Part 2 main mission. We're doing airdrop when right now we gotta contact the GRE, so let's get it. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Alright, so... Let's do this. Alright, so I fixed my recording situation a bit. Um, it should be. A l I don't know if the quality is gonna improve, but it doesn't kill my back, so I guess that's a plus. No, 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 no! Jeez, Louise. Can't wait to get the drop kick ability and then just drop kick him into the spikes. Like those. Oh no 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 no. On my way. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me do this real quick. Options, game. Uh. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. Dang it. Sometimes this game just... I don't know, it's like the parkour sometimes works, sometimes it just doesn't want to. Whee! Come on, come on! Booyah! I got through that window. Damn it, nothing here. Ooh, a new crane. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Parkour. Come on. So, we gotta retrieve this Antizen from the first airdrop. According to her, I went out that far away. Ow, my leg. My leg. Slide. Shit, too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay, 
Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Found it. It's over here. So am I ever gonna get like advanced parkour training sometime? Cause I am super slow. Crane, it's too close to sunset. You need to turn back now. Jin, I'm almost there. I can do this. Well, it's getting dark super fast. There it is. I found it, finally. I just had to clear out the Zare Hill. And now let's see. Whoa, holy crap, that's a lot of. I don't even know what that is. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Oh dang! <laughs> Screw that! I would have just taken the whole entire thing. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck. Fuck! All right. Get back here and be The nightmares? The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me. Oh, God. Jesus. Screw this. Off. Oh god. Our agility's doubled. I'm so glad I'm still slow. Great. Oh, Jesus. I'm home. Night gameplay. 
Agility and power points are doubled at night. Escaping and pursuit gives you big agility boost. The longer you play outside of safe zones, the more survival points you get. So it's pretty much saying, hey, you want to, um, you want to die? We'll pay you. It's been but double. When would they let us out? I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Got to report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. Screw that. Anytime a company says they're helping the greater good, it means they're pretty much helping themselves. I mean, every game and all that. Congrats, just... you survived the night. Too bad that run didn't work out. I mean, really, it's just stupid. Alfie's looking for you. He's in his workshop downstairs. Thank you for letting me know all this useless information. Guess I'm on top of the world. Hello? Reckon. Come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. Oh, for God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? Wanna make out? You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. So maybe we have time for one more mission. Let's go to the quarter. Or let's go to this guy. Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Oh yeah, and the beginning cutscene that I recorded and I uh, forgot to do the commentary. Uh, a man, I forgot his name, uh... His brother died, so I guess he stole a secret government file and is blackmailing them. You know, Alfie, right? He's our handyman. Crane. Sit in the workshop. Can you hear me? And, uh, yeah. Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's um. Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Yep, that's it. I'm doing it because if we don't get Antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but he was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I, look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Back in 
The reason why I have my flashlight off is I don't want to attract any zombies and then I don't want those nightmare creatures to come and attack me. Man, do I wish I had unlimited sprinting though. I'm literally just using my mini map to see. <laughs> Sweet. Worst case scenario, I'll just use my UV light. Please don't hit me. It's just rude. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. We're not brothers. You have a sister, though. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right. What does he want? I come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. Do they all have guns? Can I just knock one of them out? I have uns- oh, I do. Oh, sweet. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left. <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Good oh, job. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. <laughs> I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. More skill points? Oh, I do. Did he really just call me Tower Trash? There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. 
He doesn't handle disappointment very well. I like this group better. You're here to join? <laughs> Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. <laughs> or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem sent me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Evaded. Does that mean I get XP? Plus 18 agility points. That's what I'm doing. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Why don't we just kill him and take over? I feel like that would work. What is that guy doing? Just doing 360s all over the gaff. Hey, now come on. You ready to do this? What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with Outlaws at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Can unlock that vault skill next. Must monitor his empire. Slam! The third the the oh what the I like the whole mechanic of if you time you do a little parkour thing gives you a little XP. I like that. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Oh! oh what the hell? Ew. Hey, why are you shouting? I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. <laughs> I thought I made Molotovs.
Hmm. It's not. Crap, are all my weapons garbage? Oh god. No. Ow. Guys, kick! Oh my God! I don't care. All right, so that's all I have time for. Unfortunately, I'm trying to keep these kind of short-ish. And since I died, you know, we're just gonna pause right here at the base. So, um, we're gonna pick up, uh, pick up right where we left off. And I'll see you next time. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.